Hey guys, thanks for watching Busy with D. Today I'll be showing you how to make this super cute, super easy DIY hair bow holder using an old frame. And I actually decided to make this because I make hair bows and I make all of my daughter's hair bows and they were starting to collect a lot and I really didn't have a place to put them so I thought this would be perfect. The first thing that you do is you choose a frame. You can use an old frame that you don't want to hang anymore or you can even go to maybe the dollar store and get a frame. And I chose this frame because of the nice detailing that it has around the edges. What you'll need to do is you can turn the frame over, unscrew the latches of the frame if it has any, and then peel off the backing, peel off the paper, take out the picture, and then take out the glass if it has any glass in it. Now this next part you can actually skip if the frame that you chose is already the color that you like but I decided to spray paint my frames because I wanted it to match the color of their bathroom so if you decide to do this the first thing you need to do is wipe the frame down make sure it doesn't have any dirt fingerprints smudges or anything like that and then dry it off because you don't want to paint over a wet frame and the color that I chose is called seaside and I can leave the details down in the description box below here I'm just spraying the frame, making sure to cover it completely. I just want to make sure that it's evenly coated and I don't have any brown left on there. You know, just making sure that it's covered in the color that I chose. And also, the color that I picked has a gloss finish and that turned out really nicely. Next, I'm just going over the frame, showing you the the final product kind of sort of and what you need to do is just let your frame dry for about three to four hours it actually depends on how big the frame is I let mine dry for about three hours and this next step you should actually do before you paint the frame but I forgot so I'm just going to measure the inside of the frame just so I can know how long to make the ribbon and do you see this little indention? That is where the picture of the frame sat. That is where you want to measure. Absolutely do not measure the frame from top to bottom because if you glue your ribbon on the top of the frame all the way to the bottom, once you hang it, you won't have any room to clip on your hair bows. There won't be a space between your frame and the wall. So just measure the inside. You can use measuring tape or you can actually just grab a piece of ribbon measure all the way down to the bottom and make a fold and then you can cut the ribbon right there and that's a lot easier now the white ribbon is 7 8 in width and the pink ribbon is 3 8 and I chose to double up the ribbon just to make sure that the hair bows don't slide off here I already have the white ribbon cut I'm just showing you how I cut the pink ribbon just place one piece of ribbon on top of the other and then cut where you know your sample ribbon ends that way you don't have to keep using a ruler or anything like that over and over again and once you cut the ribbon make sure to burn the ends of the ribbon with a lighter and this is just to make sure that the ribbon doesn't fray while it's hanging on the wall and make it you know you may have this frame for a very long time so you don't want it to fray you want it to last for a long time now the next step of how I double up the ribbon, how I glue one piece onto the other is actually pretty simple. I'm going to show you two ways that I decided to do it, do it, but I prefer the second way because it's a lot easier and a lot less, you know, work. You can absolutely, you know, choose any way you want. This is your DIY. The first way, I'm just placing a dab of glue in the center of the larger piece of ribbon and then I'm placing the smaller piece on top of the glue and pressing it firmly just to make sure that it sticks and then I'm going to place glue on the entire piece of pink ribbon which is my smaller piece of ribbon and then press the ribbon down onto the white ribbon the reason why I didn't really like this way is because I found that the glue dried before I could stick it down to the white piece of ribbon which you know causes more work I have to go back and re-glue so the second method is definitely better one that I prefer but either way you want to make sure that once it's glued you press the ribbon down firmly just to make sure that it's completely glued together and it dries that way that way it won't peel up 
and that's how it should look. Now the second way, you can just add about two inches of glue onto the larger piece of ribbon, then place the smaller piece of ribbon on top of the glue, press it down, and then repeat that. So you just glue, press down, and then fold up the ribbon, glue, and press down until you've glued all the way to the end of the ribbon. And that's how it should look. And I did eight of these. I really didn't need to do that many. I didn't use them all, but I just wanted to be sure that I had enough. The next step is where you're going to place the ribbon onto the frame. And this way, um, on this step, you can actually do it any way that you like. It just depends on the size hair bows that you have. Or if you just want to space the ribbon evenly apart, it's whatever you like to do. I actually put some of my ribbon close together and then other pieces further apart because I have a three-year-old and I have a seven-year-old. And my seven-year-old has really big bows and my three-year-old has smaller bows. So the ribbon that's spaced further apart is for my seven-year-old and then the one that's closer together is for my three-year-old. So you can just really do it any way that you like. I'm just marking here where I like to place my ribbon and then I'm gluing it down. And that's basically it. You know, you have a really quick and easy DIY and a, a storage place for your girl's hair bows or whatever you like to clip onto there. The next step, you just add your hair bows and that's about it. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forgive it. Don't don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. Thanks for watching Busy with D and I'll see you guys next time.